Writing software programs can be challenging. Just like a writer can be stopped in his tracks by writer's block, so too can the computer programmer when trying to solve a problem. <sighs> Golly gee, this code is giving me heaps of trouble. The results look fine on my database console, but the data keeps getting truncated in my program. Poor chap. Let's look at a few techniques that can help him get out of this rut. This technique is called rubber duck debugging. All right, Mr. Quackers. I have my code and it works in my database console. The idea is that by explaining his problem to an inanimate object, such as a rubber duck, he might talk himself through the problem. This is often a great first step in troubleshooting some non-functioning code. Well gosh, that didn't help. Let me see if I could simplify the problem. Another technique our developer can use is to break the problem down into smaller parts. If he can break the issue down into smaller pieces, Often those individual parts can help piece together the full solution. Gee willikers, I did find a couple mistakes in my code, but my data is still getting truncated when importing into my app. Let me see if someone else has this problem online. While the internet can be a valuable resource when troubleshooting your code, be sure to set a timer to avoid searching the day away. Well, that didn't seem to help. Let me ask one of my pals to see if they have any advice. Getting help from a friend or colleague is often a great way to work through a difficult problem. Remember though, use common courtesy when going to ask another person for assistance. If they look like they're busy, it's rude to interrupt them in the middle of their thoughts. Send them an email instead so that they can assist you when they reach a good stopping point. Hey, I got your email. What's the problem? Oh, thanks for coming over to help. So I'm having this issue with my... Other individuals can bring a diverse background and set of skills to your problem. Often they will see things in a different light and will help you work through your programming troubles. That right there? Yeah, that. What? Oh, you just need to change that code. Oh, let me... let me try that. Wow! That worked! What a swell solution! Thank you so much for assisting me. As you can see, there are many different ways to troubleshoot your coding problems when you get stuck. Just remember, not every technique will work every time. Don't become frustrated, and instead think of these challenges like fun puzzles. With due time, you will always find a solution to help get you on your way again.